Hi children, good afternoon. 8th standard English poem. Unit 7, poem 7. My computer needs a break by Shantini Govindan. What is the learning outcome from this poem? Participates in different events such as role play, poetry recitation, skit, drama, debate, speech, elocution, declamation, quiz, etc. Organized by schools and other such organizations. These are the learning outcomes uh, we can get from this unit. Okay. See the motivational picture. This is the picture in our textbook. Isn't it? Uh, what it symbolizes? Actually, the computer occupies our entire world. The picture symbolizes the computer occupies our entire world. Without computer, we cannot do anything nowadays, isn't it? So, we are using computers in various fields. Can you see the computers? What are the fields? Schools, colleges, factories, bank, hospitals. Hospitals everywhere. We should use computer. Without computer, we cannot do anything nowadays. This is a condition. This is our condition nowadays. Isn't it? Okay. Can you guess our title now? Yes. My computer needs a break. Written by Shantini Govindan. My computer needs a break. By Shantini Govindan. See the picture of the poet. Arthur's introduction. Arthur introduction. Shantini Govindan is a widely published award winning author of children's literature in English in India. Who has written who has written over 50 books for children including poetry, picture books, short stories for children of all ages. Shantini Govindran was born on 20th March 1959 in San Francisco, California. She studied at the American Embassy International School. She got the graduation in economics from the University of Madras and also she got the master degree in English. Shall we go to the poem? Yes. My computer has always been so briny and smart. It seems to know mountains of information by heart. If I type, if I type in a question and, uh, and give my mouse a click, my computer always gives me the answer really quick. Children, this poem is very rhythmic. See the first stanza. The last word, the first line, the last word, and the second line is the last word. The third line, the last word, and the fourth line, the last word. Smart, hard, click, quick. Isn't it? It's very rhythmic. Rhyming word. These are the rhyming word. So it is very rhythmic. My computer has always been so briny and smart. It seems to know mountains of information by heart. If I type in a question and give my mouse a click, my computer always gives me the answer really quick. But of late, my computer has been behaving badly too. It's so absent-minded that I don't know what to do. It forgets to save my work and store it away and instead makes it vanish 
in the most dreadful way. My computer doesn't check that my spellings are right and hides my files so that they vanish from sight. And one day, my naughty computer actually gobbled a worm and behaved so erratically that it made me squirm. Then, my computer got a virus and fell very sick. So, I had to call in a doctor, double quick. As the doctor examined my computer, I just had to say, Doctor, do you think my entire computer comes up all day? By Shantini Gopalan. Children, now we are going to discuss about the new words in this volume. See here, briny. Briny means very intelligent. Briny means very intelligent. Absent minded. Absent minded. Just forgot something. Absent minded means being forgetful. Forgot something. Vanish. Third one, vanish. Disappear. Vanish means disappear. Fourth one, dreadful. What is it? Dreadful. Dreadful means unpleasant. Dreadful means unpleasant, not good. Fifth one, gobble. Fifth one, gobble. Gobble means a easily or greedy. Gobble means eat easily or greedily. Sixth one, erratically. Sixth one, erratically. Erratically means unsteadily or unpredictably. Unsteadily or unpredictably. It means not constant. It is changeable. Seventh one, squirm. Seventh one, squirm. What is the meaning of squirm? To twist the body in discomfort. Squirm means feeling discomfort. That's all. See the eighth one, naughty. Eighth word. What is the eighth word? Naughty. Naughty means indecent behavior or bad behavior. Naughty means indecent behavior or bad behavior. Next one. Ninth one, warm. Warm means any of a number of creeping or burrowing invertebrate animals with long, slender, soft bodies and no limbs. Okay, virus. You know, nowadays we all heard about virus. What is the virus nowadays we heard? Coronavirus, isn't it? As like that, virus. Virus means any numerous kinds of very simple organisms smaller than bacteria able to cause disease. Explanation about the poem. In this poem, the poet talks about her computer. In this poem, the poet talks about her computer. She beautifully describes the erratical behavior of the computer. Though the computer plays a vital role in our regular activity, sometimes it makes us confused to handle, isn't it? Though the computer plays a vital role in our regular activity, sometimes it makes us confused to handle it. She says that her computer is intelligent and very brisk. It stored the mountains of information in it. Whatever the poet wants to know, she types it in her computer. Immediately, it gives the right answer. So, she is happy about her computer. But in later days, 
the computer did not behave properly it forgot everything it refused to save the words of the poem the files were vanished the boy did not know the correct way to check the computer she was confused she thought that her computer swallowed a worm it means that the computer was affected by a virus due to virus the computer behaved indifferently so the boy called the doctor immediately to give treatment for the computer at last she came to know that a computer is a brain okay uh now we go to the first stanza my computer has always been so brainy and smart it seems to know mountains of information by heart if i type in a question and you my mouse get click my computer always gives me the answer really quick in the first stanza the boy says that her computer is pretty intelligent and smart it stores the mountains of information by heart If the poet has any doubt, she will type a question in the computer, and immediately she gets the answer with a one click. She is proud of her computer. Second stanza. But of late, my computer has been behaving badly too. It's so absent-minded. that i don't know what to do it forgets to save my work and store it away and instead makes it vanish in the most dreadful way in the second stanza the poet describes the bad behavior of the computer from the beginning the computer was brainy and smart but in the later days it behave badly and forget everything it was absent minded the poet worried about she did not know what to do the computer did not save the poet's work sometimes some files were vanished it was a dreadful incident for the poet that sense of my computer doesn't check that my spelling is on right and hides my files so that they vanish from sight one day my naughty computer actually gobble the worm and behave so erratically that it made me squirm in this stanza the poet says that one day the boy's computer swallowed the worm so it behaved rudely it did not check the spellings and also it some files from vision this erratic behavior made the boy discomfort for instance huh? and lost sense on then my computer got a virus and felt very sick so i had to call in a doctor double quick as a doctor examined my computer i just had to say doctor do you think my computer what's a holiday in the last sense on the poet finds a solution for its bad behavior actually her computer was affected by a virus and felt very sick the poet immediately called the doctor to be treatment of the computer here the doctor is the technician 
who repairs the computer. Okay. The doctor, here the doctor means that the technician we examine the computer. At that time, the poet asked the after the question to the doctor. Doctor, do you think my tired computer wants a holiday? Yes, the poet's computer needs a break. The continuous work makes us tired, isn't it? The continuous work makes us tired. So we need a short break to refresh us, isn't it? Like that, as like that, the computer also needs a break. Children, now we see the figures of speech played in this poem. What are the figures of speech played in this poem? See here, metaphor, personification, hyperbole. Metaphor. Metaphor means containing an implied comparison. Metaphor containing an implied comparison. Personification. A thing, quality, or an idea is represented as a person. Hyperbole. Hyperbole means exaggeration by a fact and not Mean to be taken literally. Next, we come to know about poetic devices. We should learn about poetic devices. Rhyming words in the first stanza. What are the rhyming words in the first stanza? Smart, hot, click, quick. Can you understand? Smart, hot. Click, quick. Already you know very well about rhyming words, rhyme scheme also. Isn't it? In earlier poems, you have learned. Second question What is the rhyme scheme in this poem? What is the rhyme scheme in this poem? What is the rhyme scheme? You know very well. A, smart, A, hot, A, click, B, quick. B. What are they? The last words in the in every line we should give a letter. The last word. In the first stanza, the last word is a smart. So we should give G. The alphabet G. In the second stanza, the last word is heart. So smart heart. The sound is same. So, we also give the same alphabet for the word heart. Isn't it? Smart, A, heart, A. In the third line, the last word is click. So, this is, this sound is different from the heart and smart. So, we should give B. We should give B. Another word in another line, quick. So, click, quick. These sounds are same. So, we should give the same letter B. So, smart, A, heart, A, click, B, quick, B. Now, what is the rhyme scheme? Tell me. A, A, B, B. What is the rhyme scheme? A, A, B, B. Third one, can you pick out the alliterated words in this line? Can you pick out the alliterated words in this line? But of late, my computer has been behaving badly too. Already you know very well about alliterated words. The same consonant sound, isn't it? See here, be behaving badly. Be Behaving badly. Imb. The sound, the constant sound is imb. Imb. Isn't it? Be. Behaving badly. These are the alternative word. words in this line. These are the alternative words in this line. Next one, fourth one. 
What are the figures of speech used in this poem? Let me learn about it, isn't it? Hyperbole, metaphor, personification. Hyperbole, metaphor, personification. Okay, children. Now we are coming to the appreciation questions. See here, first question. Whose computer is described here? Our poet Shantri Govindan's computer is described here. The appreciation questions are very easy. The answers we can get only from our poem. Okay. Uh, these questions make us clear in our learning a poem, isn't it? Okay. Second question. Does the computer give the answer really quick? Yes. The computer gives the answer really quick. Third question. Who is referred as naughty here? The computer is referred as naughty here. Fourth question. What does the computer mean? What does the computer mean? The computer needs a break. The computer needs a break. Fifth question. What did the computer swallow? The computer swallowed a bomb. Yes. See the evaluation. Okay. Shall we go to the evaluation? Yes. First question. How does the poet describe her computer? The poet describes her computer so briny and smart. Second question. What happened to the computer? The computer caught a virus. So, it behaved badly and became absent-minded. Shall we go to the third question? List four things that the computer could not do after it became absent-minded. First one, the computer could not save the poet's work. Second one, store it away. Isn't it? The computer store the poet's work away. Third one, could not check the spelling. Fourth one, vanish the files. Fourth one, vanish the files. Question number four. What made the poet squirm? The erratic behavior of the computer made the poet squirm. Fifth question. Why did the poet call the doctor as the computer caught a virus and feel very sick? The poet or the doctor. Next one, you fill in the blanks. Computers are brainy and smart. Computers are brainy and smart. We get answers. Second question, we get answers for questions by a dash. Click. Third one, the computer forgot to save the poet's work. What is it in the dash? Save. Fourth one, the computer actually gobbled a yeah? dash. Wow. The computer actually gobbled a yeah? wow. What is wow? It is a real wow? Living being? No. A computer worm is a type of malware that spreads copies of itself from computer to computer. It uh, causes damages in the network. Okay. Next, uh, we go to the fifth question. The poet feels that his computer needs dash. What it means? The poet feels that his computer needs a hot meal. See the other questions. Pick out the rhyming words from the poem. Pick out the rhyming words from the poem. We are well known about rhyming words. It is easy to find out. 
and small heart, isn't it? See here, small heart, small heart, click, quick, right side, sick, quick. It's very interesting, no? Okay, let's go. Exercise B. Match the poetic lines with figures of speech. Match the poetic lines with figures of speech. This is the ocean in the tablet form. First one, so briny personification. Second one, mountains personification. Third one, it's so absent minded type of word. Fourth one, computer gobble you mom, butterfly. Fifth one, very risk, very sick, sorry, very sick, butterfly. This is the question in the tablet form. So we have to give the answer. We have to match the correct poetic device to the word. So see the answer now. So briny metaphor. Mountains hyperbole. Yes, what is hyperbole? It's an exaggeration, isn't it? It's an exaggeration. The computer stores mountains of information. It is an exaggeration. So we use it hyperbole. Third one, it's so absent-minded. It's so absent-minded. The computer is absent-minded. It is metaphor. Fourth one, computer gobbled a worm. Computer gobbled a worm. That is personification. Because we give, give the life to the computer. Animate, inanimate is a personification. We, uh, if we give the life to the non living thing, is a personification. Fifth one, very sick. Who is sick here? The computer. So, this is also the personification. This is also the personification. Exercise E. Find the alliterative words from the poem. Say, so. The same letter, the same song. Say, so. Doctor, double. Virus, very. Makes, most. Okay, children. I think you are all very clear in this point. Thank you. Thank you, children.